What's up guys, it's Stickers with EYS Gamers, and today I'm going to show you the chat commands to use the keycam for your playbacks and MXM. There's really only a couple things that I know about it, so I'm just going to show you what I know, and then uh, as I learn new things, I'll share those with you as well. So first thing I'm going to show you is, um, obviously, once you get it in to your playback, um, there's the third person camera, and then there's the free roam camera. This is the camera that you will use to... Uh, run the cable cam. So first thing I'm going to do is just show you the basic setup that I'm going to use for the start of this and then we'll go to something a little bit more uh, dynamic. So first off, um, I put the camera where I want it. I suggest you change your uh, field of view to between 30 and 40. I generally run 30 um, ish. So put it to there and then once you get it set up to where you want the camera to be for your shot, I'm just going to do a basic one real quick just to show you what's up. Um, you're going to hit T to open your uh, chat window and you're going to type in slash add key. Now you'll see right there it said keyframe added and then you're going to exit out of that and um, what I've been doing and if you know better technique please let me know but what I've been doing is I have my controller set up so I can move my camera and my uh, my axis left and right and my up and down on two separate buttons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera down range or you know down the course to say like right here and then I'm going to reposition it to where I want it um, thinking right here will be about good I'm going to advance the uh, animation to say there ish yeah, let's go there and we'll I will go we'll go here all right and then I'm going to stop it and I'm going to open my chat window up again now you can type in a slash add key again or you can hit the up arrow and it will go ahead and put it in for you so I'm going to go there um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is in that same window, I'm going to type slash toggle key cam. Now this is going to put it into key cam mode. So when you go back out, you won't be able to move the camera. You're going to you hit the back arrow or whatever your step backwards key is. Mine is the back arrow. And it's going to rewind it. And then when you hit start or once you unpause it, it will then animate it. Now as you can see, I got way off. I didn't sync it very well with um, the writer. But this is to show you A to B, you know, how to get the camera from A to B. So to disengage the, um, the camera, you need to go back in and turn it off, toggle key cam, and now it's off. You can move your camera again. Now the reason why I wanted to show you that was because I've been doing this thing where I've noticed, um, I call them like accidental shots, where I found that if I, like say I'm going to move the camera over here, I'm going to bring it up a little bit, and then I'm going to take and change the zoom the field of view is what well, the change of field of view. I'm going to change it to like say 100. I will go 90. Um, when you log your key cams or your add keys, it makes note of your current zoom. So what I'm going to show you, I'm going to go ahead and put that back on. Now when I rewind, even though I have to say that first shot wasn't wasn't very wasn't good at all, uh, it's going to stop right here. And the cool thing it's going to do is it's going to turn. So now I have a uh, you know an aerial um, cable cam shot, uh, but I like these kind of things because it sets it up for your next shot. Like if I wanted to show a whip here, the camera is going to start from this position and go into the whip. And I just found for me it was cool to have these little shots like this, uh, just as like filler and whatnot. Um, I definitely suggest that if you're doing um, like shots of whips or jumps or whatever, that you only use two anchor points. And that way it doesn't jerk in the middle of your um, your jump sequence or your whip or whatever you're currently recording. Um, however, I have found that if you use, say, four, you would do a, like, um, imagine it like on a triple. You would have the keyframe, the, the key cam added before the jump, setting up to where you actually want to see the camera. And then a third one where the end of the shot is going to be. And then a fourth one just to create an arc. And then you're only looking to record... Uh, the footage between two and three, and not one and four. But one and f one and one to two sets up the angle t to for two to three, and then three and four is just kind of an exit out of it. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here in a second. So we're going to go ahead and advance this forward. So now the camera is in this position. Actually, I need to take it out first. So now we can move this. Now the shot that I like is a just a generic shot of the camera moving alongside of the rider as he's jumping. So we'll go ahead and push this here. Advance this forward. 
Okay, so this first shot, I want it to start about here. And again, note I'm a little high for this shot, but it's just to show you that I'm setting uh, the first sequence in the jump that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and run this forward. And I run this to where, like, okay, I want my frame to start right there. I think I eat crap really hard on this whip, but whatever. So here we go. This is my, this is frame two now. I'm going to run this forward again. So then I want frame three, which is the main shot that I'm looking for, to be here. Actually, that was a little too far. Let's go about here. And then we're going to just add the key again. And I'm I'm really wide here, but the field of view, just to give you an idea of what, what the, the panning is like. Oh, so close yet so far. Okay, so now the last shot is just going to continue that flow, and I'm just going to move it down to here. Now, the fourth frame really isn't as critical as the first one is as far as setting up your angle, but it's just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So here's this. Key cam is on, so now we're going to back it up. And you'll see that when you come back from here, it'll start panning in because it's going to that first anchor point. So we'll speed it up. And here you go. Go to anchor point one, to two, to three, to four. Now you can see that it's a little jerky between three and four. So that's why I'd say you do a slow motion shot from, say, you know, one and then two is regular, and then two right here to three would be the shot you're actually looking to get. And then you're not even going to use this clip here where it, it banks from three to four. But it's just to give you an idea of like how to set up, um, you know, the shot that you want for the panning. Um, one other thing I want to show you real quick because I'm pretty sure. Let's see here. Yeah, see, I'm pretty sure I do this again. So I want to do a, that same whip again. Or the same sequence. So what I've been doing just for fun, just to fill the camera in, is I'll go ahead and bring it up here and type in add key. And this is just personal preference. This has got nothing to do with, you know, the way it should be done. And then we'll go ahead and bring it down here. And we're going to change our field of view. Um, change it down to, the, let's go 40. All right, so we can see our writer is here. So this one I want it to be more of a straight shot looking like a cable cam just parallel to the rider. Same thing, add key. Gonna run the shot forward. Now I'll run this towards almost to the end of the whip just so I can get a one straight shot all the way across. And the reason why I do it that way is so I can make sure that my my shot of the cable cam look doesn't um, I that I, I have the right height for the shot. So I'm going to go ahead and advance this again to about there. We're going to add another key. And then just for funsies, I'm going to just pan it up just because I can. And we'll go ahead and increase the FOV again. We'll go up to 75. Add key. Now we're going to toggle key cam. Now we're into the key cam mode. So this is what I was talking about with the shot of just filling the, the gap. These kind of shots I like for just, you know, fun shots for filling sequences. Um, but anyway. So as you can see, it's going to come down. Oop. So it's going to come in and zoom in. And then there's your shot of the whip. And then I screwed that one up because I didn't advance the animation. I just paused it and then moved the camera and then added a key again. So that's what will happen if you do that. But So this shot in slow motion, this is what it's going to look like. And it's a really great feature just for getting these really sweet shots of whips if you want to do slow motion or scrubs or whatever. Um, really cool feature. I'm really digging it. So that is pretty much uh, the basics of it. Um, like I said, I'm really new to it. I don't have much experience on it. I'm trying new techniques. But this is just the basics of um, the key cam feature, also known as a cable cam. Alright guys, that's all I got for now. This was Stickers with EY's Gamers. Remember, idle off, throttle on. Later.